Okay guys, now it's all set. I tried with the two cameras. I'll see which one is going to pick the, the mic sound as well as the lighting and everything perfect. The one I have is Hero 4 and another one is a mobile. Now let's see which one is better. So now what we have today? Today, I'm going to try the Sangria. What is Sangria? Sangria, it's um, like in Singapore, we used to tell about uh, well, the Shandy. It's very famous. It's a very famous drink. Shandy, that's actually a combination of beer and lemonade. So it's called Shandy. And uh, here also they have a lot of drinks. They call Pops. Uh, normally youngsters used to drink a lot. Actually it's a pre-mixed drinks. Vodka, whatever the heavy drinks, whatever you name it. You have it, all the whiskeys, brandies and everything. Uh, they mix with all the fat, like a, well, like a fruit juice, so-called fruit juice or soda, so they call pre-mixed drinks. That's they call soda Pops. That's quite famous here nowadays. And uh, people, uh, young, young people now will love it uh, because they just, just buy like a, a soda and then just drink it. They think that's cool. Uh, so, but now we are coming back to the point. Today we are going to look at the sangria. What is sangria? Sangria is normally basically, I haven't got the history of it, but all I know is that it is a combination for those people who don't like red wine. Um, what they have to do is that you don't know the red wine, so it's a, bit, it's a blend of a bit of red wine and some fruit juices like a lemonade and a bit of orange juice and stuff like that and let, let me see what, what we have here today uh, there are two versions of sangria I have one uh, I think both of them spray why is it spray let me check let me check okay number one is a Mia it's a fresh in it it's a very good brand fresh in it is a very good brand and it's, a, it's called sangria uh, classic royal as you can see here it's I don't know whether it's clear enough or not let me see if it's not clear enough I'll uh, we'll take the bottle a bit oh, the sangria classic royal and uh, this version is a very old company that's established in 1861. I have to put that also on This is fresh in that. It's made where? Uh, it's made in Spain, Spanish one. It's a Spanish one. And it has a like Jesse, Jesse oranges. Jesse oranges means oranges which is bit, like a bit of a Jesse means uh, the orange stole and there's a or a less or, or, a, or a tinge. Less of orange or less taste for that's called the justy orange orange taste, refreshing justy with oranges and citrus fruit, and blended with a smooth red wine. So, but this one normally to be enjoyed chilled because it's a blend of fruits and stuff like that. So, the one in order to bring it up, you need to get a chill, chill a bit compared to the uh, red wine, which normally is it to be uh, best to consume at room temperature. But what room temperature? Room temperature means 80 degrees Celsius, other well, like, than temperature, yeah, 80 degrees Celsius. That's the room temperature for them. I don't know, for number of our climate, like Malaysia, India, it's better to chill it a bit. Check it with the ice, check it with the ice cube for a while, uh, uh, cook it in the fridge for a while, and then cool it down so that that brings the flavors. If you cool too much, it kills the flavors. Okay? If it is too warm, uh, it's a, it, it tastes. Uh, so it has to be ambient optimum temperature <coughs> for, to drink and taste the, the best of the wine. Today I'm done. This one is a Spanish one, right? Uh, Spanish one, it's a product of Spain. And alcohol is very less than this. 9%. This is a wine, means I, as I told you the last time, you need to cap it up at 14.5%, 13.5%. Max is 14% for Australian limits. That's that's Australian law. You can't you can't make any wine uh, beyond 13.5 or 14 the max. Other than the it comes to the liquor. You can make it as 40% or whatever it is. Max is 40%, right? Cap. The cap means that's the control limit. You can go to 40% of uh, alcohol volume um, by volume here. Yeah. Uh, by volume alcohol, the percentage of alcohol compared to the volume of the, the contents in the bottle is 40%. Uh, up to, up to, up to, then it becomes a liquor category. So that's a, that's a totally different ball game. Another, okay, let's not worry about it. This is only 9%. So probably I would say. It's a bit lesser than the less alcohol than the wine. Sorry, 11, 11, 12, 11.5, 13, or something like that. So this is the this is nine percent. And the, what's the other one? The green one. What are we? That is sang. That's this other sang. We have Santara. Uh, it's it's been awarded the best European winery. Okay, and so 94 points out of 100. And uh, this is also made in Spain. This is also made in Spain. Spain. This is this is Spanish too. So, so this Sangaria, something Sangaria is normally the Mediterranean drink. They come from the Mediterranean drink around those areas. And so for them, they like the, all the aromas. You see, the aromas and the flavors and everything, they are more attached to it. 
that they mixed it in the food, you know, all the spices and everything. They are very attached to it. That's why they want to add a bit of a blend of spice or something other than that. That's why they added oranges. In this one, I think it comes from the natural extract from the West, Valencian citrus. Citrus orchard, Valencian, it's called Valencian orange, Valencia orange. That's quite common here to Valencia orange. So it comes from the citrus orchard, it's lemon and orange. And a selection of uh, red fruits. Mm, raspberries, strawberries and cherries. <coughs> which basically goes in my backyard guys so I, I, I can add them to the wine too next time probably I can add them to the wine and uh, okay Saya so yeah, I'll be there in a short while join you honey good night Napatte so and uh, so it, it, so that one is just basically Mia Mia is basically what well, just the citrus fruits with oranges uh, and blended with the uh, smooth red wine that's all mm, just the oranges and citrus fruit probably just your bit of lemon or something like that will be there and this one is there so that's all it's plain neat whereas this one is more towards more fruity and stuff like that and uh, yeah because it has the uh, lemons oranges then it goes to the raspberries strawberries and the cherries and this under okay but unfortunately i just want to try only one today so what i did was i only chilled the mia and not not the, not the sandara so Sandra, I'll keep it another day and see how the taste is. Okay, today, let's open up this one. Let's open up the Mia. Uh, Mia, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it on YouTube. Le. I don't know uh, how famous this is. The smell of the red wine, pure uh, red wine. But uh, what I can say is that I have a little bit on the little, little bit of flavor is there. From what's it called? A uh, little bit of uh, the orange is still there. Excuse me. And we go back to the wine glass. This one. This is a stainless wine glass. So where we have the bottom here uh, to hold a bit more stable. It is uh, called. Uh, this is the latest one's a wine glass. Somebody's wine. This is called stainless wine glasses. Let me see. It's very light because uh, it's quite light. It's light wine. It's not the dark wine. And also because they added the juice and everything. And uh, so that's why it's a bit. Light is you're gonna rest a bit. I have to have a different set of this one. Very fruity. I can't taste the wine in here. It is become sappa. The, the wine, I think, uh, the fruit, the juice is just lemon or whatever they added, oranges and the rich they added, that actually overpowered the wine. Uh, that, that actually suppress the actual flavor of the wine and stuff. Like so it's more, tastes like a more like a fruit juice in the name of the wine because it's added and it's more sweet and uh, it doesn't have the, the tinge of the wine, the tannins and all, it's all been suppressed by the adding of the orange juice and stuff like that. Normally I used to have like orange and uh, lemonade, lime, lime juice and all. I didn't happen to drink white wine sometimes. And I'm more of a silver, 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 so that might create headache or some other component in that might act to them might act against them that's not uh, they, they, it goes against them against the body and the system up and now i will tell you so some of them they don't touch red and white and uh, kuri kamata so i like only white up uh, white one uh, so i can't you know, i don't hate white wine white one is it cook for fish white white wine we cook uh, white meat white meat and the fish like chicken that's what cook for that cook for that use for white one but use for that so, but they are wine taste pretty clear. Uh, they can ask, they, they can use a salad son. Are they married bar? 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 Are they 
So, as a okay, uh, can you have some orange juice, orange, orange juice or lemon or something like that? And try and see whether it's tasting good or not. Okay. Hey, you know, I don't know how to do it. Hey, let's go and have that. But no, we don't know. Of course. They, you have sangria. Have you ever tasted sangria? Then show your knowledge. Say sangria. They have friends who say that. It's called sangria. You check it out. I want to be confident, be bold. And even if other people drink it, you don't say that. So, so what? I love it. I mix it that way. I don't want to drink that which I don't like. I don't want to drink that which I don't like. I don't want to drink that. I just pour it in the sink. I don't want to drink that. I don't want to drink that. I don't want to drink that. What the British people want? Sometimes they go, oh, that's what I'm not there. The wine stone, all wine stone age equally. Just like women. All women does not equally. So, 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 so,